Thank you, Emma. Thanks for that wonderful um, introduction. And I'd like to take a minute to thank Kevin and Sean and Missy and the newest addition, Jess, yeah. to the gallery. Um, I'm not always the easiest person to work with. I'm a bit reclusive, I think, so, um, and camera shot. So. But thank you. They, they're wonderful to work with. I've just enjoyed it so much. And I'm thankful for the opportunity, once again, to show my work to the public. And hopefully, hope everyone will enjoy it tonight. Um, and because I'm really nervous and uh, not very good at this, I'm going to read a few things that might give you a better intent into my process. Um, so, firstly, I'd like to say, and I'm getting a little old. So <laughs> <laughs> firstly, um, I'd say uh, for this September show, I put, put together an eclectic group of paintings that I've been working on for the past year. Some are pretty straightforward representations of the subjects, and others are more narrative, oftentimes, compilations of my imagination around something that intrigues me. Regardless of which one, all are rendered with as much depth of emotion that I can muster for the subject I'm connecting with through my paint. Secondly, I would say, although I'm not a realist painter or a hyper-realist, um, although I am, excuse me, although I am a realist painter, <laughs> that, that went sideways. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, so, no, although I am a realist painter, I'm not a photo, photo realist or hyper realist, nor do I strive to be. I'd much rather you see the hand of the creator as opposed to trying to obliterate any evidence of human touch. I often say to myself while I'm painting, it must be real, but not too real, because it's the fine line for me and it usually means whether a subject appears static or alive. And lastly, I'll say, I, I love painting in Maine. It's a treasure trove of subjects to paint for me because it's obviously beautiful, but it's also gritty as hell, and, it time, and it's time worn. The latter is what I'm usually attracted to, not necessarily the big sweeping ocean vistas, but the small patina vignettes of day-to-day -day life that in many ways are vanishing. I simply feel a kinship and a reverence for what's come before me and will most likely still be here when only my spirit is left in my beloved Maine. And, and lastly, and just closing, uh, I would hope that um, although I put my own ideas my own thoughts, my own dreams, my own narrative into a lot of my paintings. Um, I, do, I do encourage everyone to pull their own narratives, their own ideas um, when they're viewing my work. In fact, I, I, really, I really prefer that. Um, and I do put a lot of emotion into it, into my paintings, and it's not through bravado brushwork and things like that, but it's it's very quiet, it's very intent. Um, and I just hope that I can spark some emotion when people are looking at my work. And uh, I mean, that's really, that's really it in a nutshell. And I'm also thankful to be showing with Cooper, Helen, and Julie. I mean, they're all wonderful artists and I appreciate everyone coming out tonight to, to watch, to, to view the show. That's it. Thanks.